Okay guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to wire up your uh, three port goose solenoid. So these can be bought to fit your car specifically. I have a Subaru, um, or you can buy them so that way they're just the solenoid with two wires coming off the end and then a connector. Now, some come with the connector you actually need for the car. Um, others, you don't get a connector. They might be a little bit cheaper. You won't get a connector for the car, but you'll just have the wires so you can cut off the connector that's to your car and you can just wire these into that. Um, but for me, I'm gonna show you how to connect your wires to this connector and then we're gonna stick a, uh, maybe we won't I'm not sure if we will or not because I'm not wiring this up today um, but we might or we might not put the ports in we'll probably put them in just for uh, aesthetics so I'm gonna show you to do that so one of the things you want to do when you first get this is test it so I have my 12 volt battery set up and what we'll do is just take these two wires and touch one to one side and one to the other. Let's see if I can move that so you guys can see in there. So here we go. So it should click. And you can see the little arm inside moving. And it doesn't matter what, what way you hook these wires up. Um, they both activate it, so show you guys. Doesn't matter, you can swap them around. It still works. So, um, now that we know it works, I'm gonna cut probably about six inches off of here. Okay guys, so I cut the wire. Now we're gonna take our wire strippers and strip just a little bit off of each wire. And then after that, we will crimp this right here. This is the connector. So what you do is you slide the wire up through and you stick it in that hole down there where you can see my fingernail at the end. You stick the bare wire through there and then the rest of this will be just the, uh, the rubber coating on the wire. And then you're gonna clamp it down with uh, some pliers. So I'll take care of that right now. Hey guys, while I was doing this, I almost forgot. You wanna put your little rubber boot pieces on before you clamp this on because after you clamp this on you're not going to be able to get that rubber over or if you do you risk ripping it on here and that keeps the uh the moisture out of there so they're really important to not have a hole in them um but yeah so now i am working on getting this on there and it's actually really hard to squeeze that wire through there so I find that spreading the metal a little bit helps to slide the wire in, uh, at least for me. I don't know about you guys, you might have a little bit better clips, but so far that's where we are. So I'm gonna hurry up and put this on. Just a reminder, make sure you have the right tools for the job. I was trying to use these massive pliers and it just wasn't bending these connectors right. So. Um, I went and luckily I have these small pair of, I think these are like jewelry pliers. Um, but these are definitely the tool for the job to bend these, or they actually sell a specific tool to crimp these. Uh, I don't have that. So just letting you guys know, have a smaller set of pliers if you don't have the actual real tool to do that and crimp that. Okay guys, so hopefully you guys can see those. So they're all crimped in there on both of them. 
and then we are just going to test one more time to make sure that these wires are actually good so you would do this before you stick the uh stick it on the car so have your 12 volt put one in so one in and then we should hear it turn on when we stick the other one in there so you guys can already hear it so that means that both of these wires are connected right. So we've got two sleeves. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push them in the connector. Again, this is for a Subaru. This is a 2006 Outback, but should be the same for just about every uh, WRX or Legacy GT or Outback XT, Forester XT, um, STI, things like that. So once you get them in there, you're gonna push that white tab and it locks in place. So you're just gonna push it down and then it'll lock the wires. Then you'll push these up and that'll be it. So I'm gonna do that now. So before I push the tab, always make sure that they're both all the way through. You can see they both are, they're all the way through. And I made sure um, they're both bottomed out in here. So neither one of them can go any further. And now I'm gonna lock this in place. I'm gonna push that tab down. Okay guys, so the tab is down, and then you want to test to make sure that neither one of them come out, and they don't, neither one of them are moving. Like I said, that tab on the inside is pushed down, that's what it's going to look like, and the connector is made. So, now we'll just push these up like this, Let's see if I can do it one-handed. Uh, I guess I kind of can. So you're just gonna fit them in there like that as best you can. Um, I guess I can't really do it one-handed, but that is it. So that's how you wire this. If you want the part number, there it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and put those on and then I'll just screw those in real quick. All right guys, so that's it. That's how you wire your three port electronic boost controller. Um, in case you guys need the numbers that is it so um just so you guys know those are really good um like three port boost, boost controllers but if you get one that already has a connector on it it usually costs she's i think i seen these for 70 dollars with the subaru connector on it um i paid like 20 dollars for this with the connector and you can also buy them without the connector and they just have a wire and they're like 15 dollars um, but the one with the connector is super easy to do. Hopefully you guys will be able to do it with this video. Um, I highly recommend getting that one if you want to put one on your car because for $25, $30, I mean, it's way better than the factory one. Um, but anyway, so there's going to be an install on this. It's a rainy day, so I can't put it on today, but it's definitely coming soon. So I'll see you guys in the next one.